Hey, 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 what's up? How you doing today? I am going to show you some tips on uh, uh, repairing or tuning up uh, lawnmower starter motors. Um, you know, um, so, I'm all business today. I got my very democratic hat on. Hardcore democrat here, as you can see. Yeah. But, you know, anyway... Let's uh, get down to business, and uh, you know, as you can tell, I'm all business always. So, but uh, no, I uh, first thing, most of these starters are about the same, very similar. Uh, this kind uses the old two bolts, it bolts onto the block like this, um, and the bolts are just these little bitty. Uh, you got to have a uh, T40 Torx or star bit for these, or a half inch socket. But with the socket, it's pretty tight in there, at least on one of them, so the socket doesn't seem like it's going to fit. So, I actually had to take this thing off to get it. So, I went to the store and got a better bit to use. So, I can actually use a quarter inch drive uh, uh, ratchet, or, or better, or bigger. Um, show you how I uh, use some scrap coat hanger for these uh, brush assemblies to uh, make it a little easier to assemble and uh, let's see yeah and uh, you use a 3 8 socket on these little screws for the positive battery cable terminal um, for the long screws that go down through there uh, 5 16 socket or wrench um, what else um, the problem is when you get these things I think when you buy this part brand new this is an old spare one this is the one I mean. you buy them uh, replacements I think they come this whole thing comes with it and it comes with something like this already that you can reuse I believe so I wish I knew how much these cost so I could share that with you but I don't um, but this is the problem you run into. Let me zoom in. Bear with me. What the heck is going on here? Alright. But yeah, that's the problem you run into is these uh, the brushes won't stay put. So I took some plain Jane coat hanger. This is actually a little bit smaller gauge I think this stuff this stuff is really tough and I uh, cut about a six seven inch piece two of them and just bent it and of course I deburred it so it didn't scratch up the crap out of the brushes the soft brushes but um so then you got to put you know put this back together and you use those to hold the brushes in place while you put the shaft up through the uh, rotor in there um, also, these springs will come loose and be a pain. Let me zoom out. So, on each side of these springs, I put some high temp uh, silicone and uh, RTV so on that to help them stay in place for next time they, it comes apart, or hopefully this one won't have to, but um, makes it easier to assemble. Uh, so what else? Okay, go in. Um, you want to definitely clean. This is an old, sp another spare one. Uh, you want to clean this commutator quite a bit. This is this one's obviously n nasty, but clean it first. You can use some of this electronic cleaner. Clean it and then polish it until you get that nice and shiny. And really, you can do that on the bearing surfaces too. I just use some some old Scotch Brite stuff. It's pretty fairly coarse, but it shined it up good, and uh, can clean clean and polish it here too as well. And then I use some high temp uh, grease, uh, you know, wheel bearing and brake grease, the high temperature stuff. So uh, this one, uh, if you can see it. Obviously, on this one, uh, bear with me, sorry. 
one of the problems with this one is this brush came loose, so it only had three on there. But it probably also had bearings that were worn out and all. But anyway, um, let's see what else was going to say. Uh, I also put a very very light coat of this on the uh, brushes and on the commutator. This is uh, GB Oxguard. An oxidant compound for electrical connections. It's got zinc in it. It's good stuff. But make sure it's a very light coat on that. Um, also, you can take this bolt out of the old ones. Take that out and knock out any corrosion, rust, whatever. And I put some of that ox guard in there as well. But I'm going to see if I can uh, put this back together. I'm running on fumes. My brain is fried right now. I'm also going to add this to the dang mower because the shut off, fuel shut off valve for winterizing because everybody knows this, some of this, the cheap gas with the alcohol, 10% alcohol is problematic. So you can also build, make a um, little stand by just drilling about a, um, a 3 8 or half inch hole in there. I used a washer to hold that. See if I can put this back together here. I mean, my brain is fried right now. Sorry. It goes something like this. You can line your screw holes up. Something about like that. And that'll hold the shaft in there. back on I put I already put the grease on there and worked it in good oh that was too easy something's got to go wrong got to Come on, baby. Work with. Me. Make let's let's make lemonade. Come on. Mm. All right, rocking with docking. Yeah. Code hanger, baby. High tech stuff. Anyway. Oh, it feels good. Mighty fine, mighty fine. I'm going to quit while I'm behind. Alright. So, bear with me and move this camera. This is way too long a video. Remember those darn Yankees? I always thought this was a good tune. That's the volume all the way up, man, in this mighty fine system. Jack Blades, Ted Nugent, and the dude from Sticks, whatever his name was. Mm. 